I'm Stacy Rokoff, Director of Successful Aging Programs at Fairhill Partners. The people have spoken, whether for their parents, their spouses, or for themselves, their preference is to stay at home. We do have to give tremendous credit to the long-term care facilities for their outstanding care and servicing our community. The combination of technology and growing community resources to serve people at home, it makes it more possible. For example, I have a woman who stopped by my office. She's a caregiver, a daughter caring for her mother. She wants to bring her mother home from a long-term care facility. And she is doing that with great, tremendous um, support from community resources. She's doing it on her own before the balancing reform. But the balance reform will make it possible for others to do the same. If it were not for this era of budget constraints, we could do this more gradual and temporary. But with the pressure on the federal, state, and local levels to meet the national goals and individual caregiver preferences, the time is now. Now is the time to invest both dollars and commitment to make community long-term care supports work. For most people, long-term care supports at home is already taking place. For others, this will now be a possible option for them to best care for their loved one.